because half y'all give y'all opinions for free. <laughs> I could have almost cried because I'm just like an emotion. Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm actually about to get ready to go. Donovan's youngest sister's birthday was recently, so we're going to a birthday dinner for her, so that should be cute and fun. I obviously need to get ready. I'm probably gonna wear an outfit down there for the restaurant, because the restaurant is like reasonably nice. And then for the way back, I'm going to definitely bring like a t-shirt or something to throw on, because I have to get comfortable. But yeah, y'all, I've literally just been, this morning, I've just been watching TikToks, and all I'm seeing is stuff about Coachella. And I personally would probably never go to Coachella, because uh -uh, that's just too much for me. But I always think it's fun to see people's outfits and like what they wear and stuff like that i am not like an outwardly opinion giver like i truthfully don't care what people do <laughs> but i just think it's cute and cool even if i don't like the outfit i'm like oh that's cool they wear that you know whatever it seems like a very exciting time for the influencers of the world y'all let me know what y'all have been thinking of people's coachella outfits but yeah speaking of coachella and y'all's opinions of all the fits and everything that goes down coachella weekend all that i want to talk to y'all a little bit today about today's sponsor which is yougov so basically it's just a site where you can take online search surveys to earn gift cards and cash rewards and majority of the surveys will range anywhere from like pop culture, music, fashion, politics, anything that you're interested in. I just thought it was cool that you can literally give your opinion to basically earn some money because half y'all give y'all opinions for free. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up some of the surveys that are on there right now so y'all can see like what I'm talking about. Okay, even like this sounds interesting. If you had a chance to meet your favorite celebrity and had a choice between taking a selfie with that person or getting an autograph, which would you choose? I'd definitely take a selfie. Like, like an autograph is cool, but like I definitely wouldn't want an autograph. Like let me take a picture, please. But yeah, they have all different type of sur surveys stuff about the elections, Twitter, conversations about social media. So yeah, definitely click the link in my description box so you can earn a little extra money on the side girl because me personally, the money that I've made from YouGov, I'll use on stuff like my nails, honey, some gas. But yeah, so I need to get ready. I don't really know what I wanna wear. And I don't really know if I'm gonna vlog. I Like, I know sometimes people are like, oh my gosh, do you ever go around his family? And like, yes I do, like obviously, but it's a lot different vlogging around other people's families or whatever. And they don't even mind, because <laughs> like, they're, whenever I'm around, they're like, oh, you're not vlogging? And I think people's expectation with me is like, since they know that I vlog, that I will have a camera out 24 seven, but I'm really not that type of person. No, I definitely don't wanna make anybody uncomfortable or feel like they have to be on camera just cause I'm around. And of course I'll vlog my family and stuff when I really want to, but I don't necessarily even put my family on camera all the time anymore, like how I used to, like, you know, when I first started, nobody ever complains to me about it or anything, but I said, I don't record every moment. It's like not that deep, you feel me? I could probably get a lot more vlog footage if I were to be like that. I don't have to go to work with everybody else when they're clocking in, so. <laughs> I'm comfortable around his family, but pulling out a camera and like talking to it is, <laughs> you know it's an adjustment to do that around other people and people like get it but also at the same time it's like <laughs> people like look at you and it's like weird and I, if I, I, I feel like I can't be like act like my normal self I don't know it makes me kind of like uh a little bit camera shy because I'm just like uh I want to talk to y'all how I talk to y'all but somebody's looking at me right now and they're expecting like <laughs> they're expecting to show of how I talk on the camera in front of them and it's just like kind of weird So as y'all saw, we went, so we went to, we were in Fort Mill and then 
we i guess fort mill is like really close to charlotte so there was like the shout festival so we went to that which was unexpected it was cool there was a lot of people there but i just took my hair down and spruced it up a little bit because obviously going to the gym and stuff so normally when i get my hair done i literally i make myself not go to the gym for like the rest of the week just so I can savor my hair but to be honest when you get your hair done freshly it lays differently even still now this is like two weeks old now and I feel like it still looks pretty good so yeah and honestly with the hair that I'm wearing right now I feel like the longer I have it the better it's looking because this hair is actually a little more like silky and straight than my normal if you're looking for hair that's gonna stay pretty straight and you don't like the coarser looking hair that I normally get then definitely recommend this this is the nadula hair and it's in like the Indian body wave and y'all know normally I get Indian like deep curly something with really tight curls that, that when you flat iron it it blends really well with your leave out but even this uh, I think it blends really well but I truly think the main part of having your hair blend with your weave is just like getting the weave cut to blend with your hair I'm always gonna get my face framing pieces shaped and really that even helps I didn't do as many layers in this hair as I normally do because I just wanted to do a different like slick middle part type of look but always in the front I'm gonna get some type of layer so that it blends with my leave out so yeah I'll definitely have this hair linked in my description box so you can try it out if you're interested in looking for some hair because I really like this and like I said if you're a girl who likes hair that stays a little more straight than I normally go for then I definitely think this will do you really well because with going to the gym y'all can see how straight it still is and I have this flat iron this hair once but I'm just gonna twist it and put it in like a little bun and it'll have kind of like a little wave to it by the time I take it out but anyways I'm just gonna put on just a little bit of makeup because Micah's birthday so earlier this week okay I need to like talk and do stuff because we're on a time crunch here so he's having a little birthday party and I know he's really excited about it he's been a real hype all week on Tuesday when I picked him up he had like a football game Get the flag. Get him. Right here. Right here. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. what's your team um, you don't know your team name Jets oh uh, yeah it says it in your shirt let's see put them up to your face huh? ah like a That's like, oh, whoa, that's cool. A little like Spider Man. I didn't know that. And then you can put your hands out. Show me the other side. Whoa, let's see. He came over and then I took him home. He had that going on. And then on Thursday, when I picked him up, that was his actual birthday. And I wanted to take him to do like a little bit of something before, you know, just to celebrate his actual birthday. No, you, you don't remember it for one this early in your youth. No, it was the, the mic is right there. Well, kids always get out earlier because it's like this and then middle school gets out and then high school. High school, what time do we get out at high school? It was three. Three ten? Three thirty? Three. I want to say three. Oh. Middle school was... uh. Hello. Hey, Micah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I have stuff. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday, Kate. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's your birthday? Yes. Are you so excited? Yes. Have you had a good day today? What did you see going on? You got the today. Tell them how old you are. Six. Micah is six. A man on a mission. What? <laughs> okay, let's see. I think you see anything cool? 
You like those? We have to get your size. Yeah, they have, don't have my size. That's the shoe you want to pick? Yeah. Get the shoes one pair. Okay. So you like that one the most? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Kyrie. My foot. I don't think so. Push your foot in. Oh, nice. They feel good. They feel good? Yeah. Let me see where your toes at. Just stand up. Put your foot flat. Oh, that's good. You have plenty of space. Oh, you like those? Are they comfortable? <laughs> yeah. So you want to get those or you want to keep looking? I like the Okay. It's like going down to your basement and I'm in love with Oh, that's what you want to? Is it good? <laughs> so it's kind of good now. Can I taste it? I want to bite up here. So that was really cute. When I took him home, he threw the hat and the shoes on and he was wearing it. Super hyped for that. So that was really cute. And I wish I would have vlogged him opening his gifts that he got from like the family because he was so hyped. And it was like, I feel like this was his first time really like, not obviously acknowledging his birthday, but he really was into it this year. And so he was just lit. <laughs> and also y'all, he's getting older. So he's starting to say like lingo that we say, and it's just a bit weird. <laughs> And he was just like so excited. It was so cute. I could have almost cried because I'm just like an emotional ass bitch. So, <laughs> so I gave him that stuff, but I still have the rest of his birthday gift because I've been waiting for the stuff to come in. I feel like I got him some cute stuff. So yeah, there's been like OD birthday celebrations. Celebrating Donna. Oop, not y'all too close. Hold on, back up. Back up. Uh, Karen's birthday is next weekend, but she's going to come obviously for Micah's birthday party. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her her birthday gift. Donovan's sister, Micah, it's just birthdays all around. Oh my gosh, she's so naturally pretty. Meanwhile, you got makeup on, but yeah, that's the vibes I'm going for today. So cute and refreshing. Such a natural beauty. <laughs> okay, so 
So now I'm gonna just throw on something real casual so I can get ready to get out of here. I'm just going to a kid's birthday party. No need for me to do the most. <laughs> so I'll show y'all what I got them. Okay, so sit this down. Um, and give y'all a little haul. I think it's cute stuff. I'm excited. I hope Micah likes it. I hope the Carrion likes it too. Okay, this will do. So I think I'll start with the Carrion. What I got again. So I got her this like little satchel bag from Free People. And it has a long strap. And she just, oh, her locks. So she just got Azaria to dye two of her locks. Like this type of color. Kinda. I mean, in lock in hair dye form. So I was like, maybe she'll like this, hopefully. Like I said, it's like a cute little crossbody or and then. And then I got her this little watch. It's vintage um, from me, <laughs> I'm kidding. But it's from Free People also. But it's like this little cute little dainty heart watch. And I mean, the heart, typically I wouldn't buy stuff that's like in the shape of a heart, but I thought the style of the watch made up for that. And it's very skinny and slim. So I like how small and dainty this was. And then I got her a couple little makeup items and they're all from Merit Beauty. And I really like their stuff. And then the other day when we were on FaceTime, she was asking me if there's anything I'm getting rid of. So I had a couple things I was getting rid of. Just some like basic little tops that she can have. So I gave her two jeans. So, and they're more of like a mom style. They should be like a saggy fit on her probably because she's a little tiny. And then Micah, if y'all watched my last vlog, I showed y'all. He, like I said, wants to look like a cornball. So if that's what he wants, I will give that to him. Um, so yeah, they have like a little Spider-Man strap across. And I, unfortunately, oh, do these light up? <gasps> they light up, thank the good Lord. Cause he's been wanting some light up shoes and I wasn't sure 100% they lit up. And then of course I need to just pick him up some like casual shoes so I got him these threes he really likes the color red so I was like maybe he won't hate these too much even though they're plain and then the last pair of shoes I got him that I picked out because y'all saw he picked out his own pair the other day are these Air Max concepts and okay for one look at the box so cool but uh, are you kidding look at these shoes I think he will love them they're super cool a lot of colors green blue purple pink all that i think that'll be cool and a lot of the fits that i got him i feel like these shoes will go with even the shoes he picked out himself yesterday so yeah nobody better not come and be talking about those are girly these are not girly grown ass men wear these okay because they came out in men's sizes they are just it's just a shoe like whatever and also like a lot of the clothes i bought him i think this must be like trendy colorways for this spring summer so that's what he's getting. I think it's cool. I'm going to lay out the fits that I got him really quick because I made fits. So my mama doesn't have to work too hard and Micah doesn't have to work too hard. And he can still look pretty fly. Because like I told y'all, he wants to be all colorful and wear all these colors. He doesn't want to wear beige and, and freaking olive green and brown and monochromatic fits. <laughs> so whatever. But if he is going to wear colorful stuff, I was going to make sure he was at least fitted. You know? So... I'm gonna, as y'all can tell by the way that I'm speaking, I don't even know why I'm rushing it. I have plenty of time anyways, I need to relax. So let me put these little fits out and I'll show y'all real quick. Okay, so first of all, here's like an overview of the fits and they all came from Zara. This is just an extra little shirt that can go with anything. He really likes, you know, Spider-Man, Batman, Marvel type stuff, so. And then the first little outfit, I got him these little blue sweat shorts he really also hates jeans <laughs> so i tried to just get him like sweatpants and stuff and then i got him this little spongebob shirt and on the back it's like this then i got him these little shorts purple must be in for the season okay so these shorts i think are really cool and then just to go with them this little gray shirt very plain but i like how it kind of looks a little bit distress looks like it's been worn i like the worn look of it and then this can go but also these can go separately but i think they will look kind of cool together as y'all can see it ties in not too, like you know it's not too matchy matchy it'll be a little vibe so yeah these little tie-dye shorts with this little tie-dye t-shirt and then the back has like this then apparently tie-dye is very in right now too 
So then I also got him these little tie-dye sweatpants and a simple shirt to go with them. This little t-shirt right here, some orange sweatpants. Does this have anything in the back? Oh, this has something on the back too. They all just are. There we go, yeah. And then lastly for a fit, these little, you know, kind of graffiti-ish sweatshorts and this graffiti style t-shirt. So I think he'll like all these. And then y'all know the other day when we were in Ulta, he was smelling colognes. So I got him this little Spider-Man cologne because he loves Spider-Man. So look at that, ah, nice. Um, Whatever, you know kids be throwing on anything. Look, look at this, look at this, it just. I don't know, I might record him opening it and it's just like closing shoes. I don't know how hype you'll be. But yeah, let me get out of here. Oh, welcome to my house. Yeah, <laughs> it's not mine, it's my house. Oh, are you excited that it's your birthday party? Yes. Oh my gosh. You don't really look that excited. I don't know. Because what? Because I don't like jeans. You don't like jeans? Oh. Oh, yeah. He was so upset when I put him no <laughs> jeans on. I know. He said, I know he hates jeans. Let me see your Crocs, then. Oh, my gosh. Look at those Crocs. I said they're shorts. He was like, they're still jeans. Well, I got you some new clothes you want to see. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. Those are cool, huh? Yeah. Are you going to put them on? No, those are cool. Let's see. I got this. Nice. Now we're not going to wear them there. Oh, you going to try to wear them today? I think your Spider-Man will go there today. Only got two feet. Yeah. <laughs> right. You can't wear all the shoes. Have a good birthday party, Micah? Yeah. Was it so much fun? Yeah. Was it the best birthday you ever um, had? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did you tell everybody thank you for coming? Yes. Oh, you did. What do you think you got for gifts? What do you think people got you? Um, what do you hope they got you? Spider-Man. Wow. I, I wanna wear this for real. Oh, you should go wear it for real. Yeah, you gonna wear it for real. I can wear it for real. You gonna change a hundred times today. <laughs> Oh. You're catching oh. on the lingo. I'm going to wear these today, yeah. No, you ain't catching on the today. It's not oh, my look, look, you dropped okay. some. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 100. Yeah, Ooh. I know 1,000. This is all. Here, come here. Come here, Michael. Come here, Michael. Come here, Michael. Hold us like this. Turn it around. No, don't take it off. Just let, let it go. Let it go. Don't open it. Here, hold this like this. What is it? It's a wallet. Hold it like this. And what is that? Hold this. He said, and what is a wallet? Your whole money. You, all right. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to, but yeah.